started. There's a, not a lot going on for the month of July, but there's some important things going on. We're excited about everything that goes on. But this coming Tuesday, um, we will have men's prayer at 630. And then next Sunday, our kids, they practice this morning. They sound great, and they're going to be singing next Sunday morning. Amen. So if you have a kid, make sure they're here. By 10 o'clock, we're going to start in the sanctuary. They will sing during the service. We're also having our promotion Sunday next month. So if they're moving up a class, we're going to do that as well. So a lot of exciting things going on next Sunday with our kids. Um, at the end of the month, we will have Brother Ethan Hagen here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's the 21st through the 23rd. So make sure you remember those services and um, invite somebody out, a friend, neighbor, family member, somebody who hasn't been in a long time or somebody who's never been. And just invite them. It's going to be a great time um, of worship and the word of God. And then finally, at the beginning of August, we will be doing a Ladies Mother's Memorial fundraiser in the form of a yard sale which I know I have a lot of stuff. I'm sure y'all have a lot of stuff too. The key to this is please don't bring anything until the week of the fundraiser, which would be August 1st through the 4th, um, just because of storage. But hold on to it. Bring it for that weekend. Um, we're going to need some volunteers. We'll have a sign-up sheet, more information coming out about it. But it's just going to be a good time with the fundraiser. And you know us, ladies, we always have fun with everything we do. So be a part of everything that's going on at Life Tabernacle Church. We all stand. Praise the Lord, church. How many excited about being in the house of the Lord this evening? Amen. Hallelujah. Say praise the Lord, church. Let's give the Lord our best praise. praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As chosen is getting ready to come and sing, I want us to just lift our voice and thank God for everything that he's going to do, everything that he has done in the service this morning and in the service tonight. Pray with me, church. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you bless this service tonight. Lord, I pray that you bless chosen tonight, O oh God, as they sing for your glory. Bless your people as they worship you, O oh God. Lord, I pray that your glory fill this house tonight. Lord Jesus, and we will be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Can we clap our hands to the Lord right now and give God some high praise. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, bless chosen.
Life Tabernacle. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. There's an old song. We haven't done this in a while. Follow that other shore. Amen. Love this song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you.
no more crying, no more, no more weeping, troubles will be gone. seeing Jesus. There's loved ones in heaven I want to see. Amen. I want to see brother hurt again. Amen. Yeah. I want to see sister hurt again. Yeah. But I want to ask the question, where is Jesus? The man that died for me. The man that shed his blood. The man that could have came off the cross with, 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 with no effort whatsoever. But when he hung there on the cross, I have, I, I'm going to be selfish. He had little bitty old me in mind. Why? I don't know. Don't deserve it. Don't deserve it, but I'm so grateful for Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to sing this last song. Since it ain't on the screen, then man, I got to look at my phone. And I ain't good at reading words off my phone. But we're almost home. Yes, we are. Come on, tell somebody next to you we're almost home. Come on, tell somebody next to you, don't give up now. You come too far. You come too far. You come too far. Don't give up now. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all got to sing this song with us if you know it. Help us sing. Are you disappointed? Are you desperate for the help? You know what it's like to be tired in a shell of yourself. You start to believe you don't have what it takes. Cause it's all you can do just to move, much less finish the race. But this part right here. But don't forget what life
Come on, put them hands together. Come on, let's go out to find the name of Jesus. Come on, don't stop right there. Just go ahead and praise him. Brother Dale, what are we praise him for? We praise him because we're going to make it. I'm going to give him some praise in advance because I'm going to make it. I'm going to glorify the name of Jesus because I'm going to make it. I ain't going to let nothing stop me from making it. I don't wait too long, fought too hard not to make it. Can we just worship the Lord right now? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I said, can we worship the Lord right now? Because we know we are almost home. Praise God. The battle is not given to the swift nor the race. It's not given to the swift nor the strong, but to the one that endure until the end. We've got to endure, church. We have got to endure. we got to persevere. we got to press our way. We can't give up now. we got heaven on our mind. We got too much in it right now to give up. It doesn't matter, praise God, how fast you run. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. The only thing that matters is that you keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep believing. Hallelujah. Like the pastor say, faith it until you make it. Praise God. I believe that God's going to bring me through. I believe everything's going to be all right. I believe, hallelujah, God's going to work it out. I believe everything's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Somebody said to me one time, he said, Brother Gardner, all you got to know is everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. You walk around with that mentality, everything's going to be all right. You're going to make it. We want to pray, hallelujah, for Brother Hurt. He's singing giving God his best praise. We want to keep him in prayer. We want to pray for the Crowder family for salvation, for Chelsea Rico. Hallelujah. Patsy Bryant family, Sister Julie Akers. Prayer, Sister, look like Richland. Prayer, Cheryl Jackson. Prayer, Brother Deidre, Brother Sam and Sister Deidre for prayer. Salvation and sickness. Torres family for prayer and direction. Sister Sandra Huddleston, praise God. We want to continue to pray for Sister Gloria. 
Praise God. And every other need you know of that's not mentioned, I want us to lift our hands right now and, and believe God for answering our prayers and ask the ushers to come. Get ready to receive our tithes and offering. But let's pray over these needs. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that you minister to all of these needs. Lord, we pray right now that you would move in a mighty way, Jesus. We know that there's nothing too hard for you, God. Lord, you are a healer. You are a deliverer. You are a way maker. Lord Jesus, you can do any, every, and all things there, God. Lord, we pray in faith right now, God, uh, believing you for the miraculous, Jesus. Uh, Lord, we lift up these needs before you today, God, in faith, uh, believing, God, uh, hallelujah, that you are an on-time God. Uh, hallelujah, Lord, and for this we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Uh, can we clap our hands to the Lord one more time? Uh, as the ushers are getting ready to receive our tithes and offering, Chosen is going to bless us with a song. Uh, for off Somebody's going to bless us with a song for offering. Praise God. Chosen is going to bless us with a song for offering. Praise God. Brother Mike, would you please bless the offering, sir? What do you want the Lord to say? What do you want the Lord to say? I want to hear him say, well done, good, good, good enter into the joy of the Lord. Oh, help me say this song, y'all. I said, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? the Lord to say, oh, what do you want the Lord to say? I want to hear you say, well done, enter into the joy of the Lord. Right, listen to y'all. Just a little while to stay here. Just a little while to wait. Just a little while to lay bare in the path that's all Holy Ghost filled, uh, fire baptized, uh, 
one God apostolic yes. believer in the liberating power oh. of Jesus' name. Can we take a few seconds to praise God like a Holy Ghost filled saint of the most high God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. We got some special speakers tonight, uh, but I know we need to get this place charged with prayer and praise. Uh, like the pastor said this morning, uh, we're going to start with prayer. Yes. We're going to start with praise. Uh, we're building up to something. Yes. So one more time, can you praise God uh, like you are a one God, uh, apostolic, tongue talker, Holy yes. Ghost filled, born again, Bible yes. believing, Christian, one God, apostolic, hallelujah, praise him. Hallelujah. Now I heard the young folks had a good time at the youth rally. I can't help but to wonder why nobody ran the aisle yet. Hey, glory. Hey, holy, fired up. You got to be fired up for Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Y'all keep that fire burning right there. Hallelujah. We got some special speakers coming tonight. Uh, in church, I want us to get behind them. But didn't the pastor preach an awesome message on prayer this morning? On prayer? Didn't he talk about prayer this morning? Didn't he talk about prayer this morning? Anybody heard what he said about prayer? The one thing I got a word, brother, if I had one of those sheets that the kids write on, I would have had to write down forgiveness. 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 Because if I want to be forgiven, I got to be able to forgive. There ain't no way around that. There is no way around that. Praise God. So I'm so glad for prayer. I'm so glad for the prayers of the people of God. Clap your hands one more time. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you may be seated. We're going to get our young people ready. We call it fresh fire. I think I've seen that somewhere. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Praise God. The first young man that's going to come up here and share what God's put on his heart is a young man that grew up in this church, a young man that his grandmother prayed for, a young man that continued to live for God, a, a young man that's still fighting, praise God, because we got to fight until we cross over to the other side. I don't know about you, but I haven't made it yet. So every day I get up, I got to start with prayer, and I got to start with a fight. I got to make my mind up. I'm fighting. I'm going to fight, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. You know him as Brother Mo. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's coming. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Clap your hands to the Lord right now as Brother Mo come uh, and share with us what God has placed on his heart. Lord bless you, my brother. Yes. Oh, that's better. Amen. Can y'all hear me? I said, can y'all hear me? Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm coming out of Acts 4 and 12. I'm going to try that one more time. I'm still shaking up here right now. When y'all did Acts 4 and 12. Then I'm coming out of Colossians 3 and 17. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. Acts 4 and 12 reads, salvation is found in no one else. For there is no under name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Amen. Colossians 3 and 17 reads, and whatever you do, whether in word or good deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11 reads, Therefore God exalted him to the highest praise, place, I'm sorry, to the highest place, and gave him the name that is above every name. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the God.
one more time. Something about the name Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the word, oh God. We ask you that you touch the minds and the hearts, oh God. Allow them, oh God, to get something, oh God, to just, to just be able, oh God, to just walk with the word everywhere they go, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like a fragrance after the rain. Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms will all pass away, but there's something about that name. I think the name of Jesus for some is a symbol of hope and salvation. It's a name that inspires faith and encourages people to live their lives with kindness and compassion. Whether you're religious or not, I think we can all appreciate the positive impact that the name of Jesus have, has had on people throughout history. When we call on the name of Jesus, we tend to feel a different kind of feeling in our spirit. It's like the Holy Ghost takes over in our bodies, and we tend to know and feel his presence. The name of Jesus is often used in prayer and worship as a way to connect, drawing him in, drawing his presence in. Amen? The name of Jesus is often associated with love, forgiveness, and selflessness. It's a reminder that we should strive to be the best versions of ourselves and treat others with kindness and respect. In a world that can feel, sometimes feel dark and uncertain. The name of Jesus can be a source of comfort and inspiration for many people. Come on, church. There's authority in the name. We have victory in the name. There is salvation in the name. There is peace in the name. There is love in the name. Healing in the name. Come on, somebody. There's comfort in the name. His name is the Lamb of God. His name is the great I am. His name is the Alpha and the Omega, which is the beginning and the end. His name is the Word. His name is the name above all names. He is the bright and morning star. He is the beloved Son. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. But the name that I love to call him is Jesus. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. While studying, I, I came across something while reading, and, it, and it, told, it said, unlike us who got our names from family members, Jesus Christ got his name from heaven, delivered to his parents by angels. He really did what the meaning of his name is. He saved us. Jesus is a joyful name that just makes us excited intend to bring joy to our hearts. I don't know about you, but every time I hear the name of Jesus, I just get chills all on my body. I just know that he is in the midst of everything. Oh, come on, somebody, because when two or three are gathered together in his name, he is in the midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes, Lord. But there is power in the name of Jesus as well. And come on, somebody, you will never get the maximum power if you don't use it. And if you want the power that's coming from on high, Brother Darren, it's good knowing the name. Brother Darren, it's good to know the name. Brother Gardner, we know the name. We understand the name. But we have got to learn how to call on the name. Because let me tell you something. When we call on the name of Jesus, something happens. When we call on the name, mountains begin to move. When we call on the name, the chains that have been holding us hostage begin to be loose. When we call on the name, we tend to feel a breakthrough. When we call on the name, miracles happen. When we call on the name of Jesus, demons are cast out. And as I said before, it's something about the name Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The name of Jesus is a reminder of the love and sacrifice that he made for us. Amen? And Brother Gardner went through it, went through this list a couple, uh, two Sunday nights ago. But would it be all right with you if we just take you back elementary school again? Would it be all right if we just go over what he said again? Amen. We're going to go through the, al the whole alphabet of who Jesus is. The Bible says, A says he's Alpha. B, he's the bright and morning star. C, he's the creator of all things. D, he's the door into everlasting life. E, he's the everlasting father. F, he is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. G, he's the governor of all nations. H, he's the holy one. I, he is the I am. J, he's the justifier. K, he's the king of kings. L, he's the Lord of lords. M, he's the Messiah. N, he is the name above all names. O, but I have a triple O, amen? He is omnipotent. He is omnipresent. And he is omniscient. Amen, hallelujah. P, he is the prince of peace. Q, he is the quick understanding. R, he is my refuge. S, he is my salvation. T, he is the light. U, he is the upholder of all things. V, he is divine. W, he is the way. But real quick, I don't know if many of y'all have seen Wheel of Fortune, but I got to go back to the letter E so I can get an X because the Bible says that he is excellent and he is exceeding of great rewards. Hallelujah. Y, he is the yes and the amen. Z, he is the zeal of your house. And John 21 and 25 reads, which if all that Jesus has done were written of him, there would not be enough, enough books in the world to contain them. Come on, let's just give him a hand clap of praise. I don't know about you, but there is something about the name Jesus. Hallelujah. When my, I remember when we prayed for my son. I remember when we prayed for my son, Miles. Whenever the doctors was telling us, I can't even remember the name of it. I can't even remember the name of it. But that's all right because we prayed over him. And when we said in the name of Jesus, I felt something come off of me into him. Oh, come on, somebody. I felt something just come off to me into him. And the night before he had went to the doctor, about for the appointment. They kept on telling us, hey, we're waiting on the test. We're wait We've got one more test we're waiting on. We've got two more tests we're waiting on. I said, Lord, in Jesus' name, we claim that he does not have whatever they're saying. In the name of Jesus. And I begin to just sit in the living room and just say, in Jesus' name, touch him. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I had him in my arms. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. We, my wife, I was at work. My wife and mom took him to the doctor. They told us that all the tests came back negative. Cystic fibrosis, that's what it was. All the tests came back negative. It's something about the name Jesus. When you call on him, it's healing in his name. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but there's greater testimonies for when you're calling on the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody, right now. Oh, when we begin to call on the name. Oh, I feel him right now. We begin to call on the name. We understand the power that he has for us. We have the understanding of the name of Jesus. Pastor has instilled it in us. He is the Shema. Hallelujah. I'm coming to a close. Amen. Hallelujah. We know who Jesus is and we know what he can do. And right now, with an uplifting of your hands, please, in this place, if you know Jesus can do something in your life, make it known here right now because he's in the midst of your storm. The name of Jesus is a source of comfort and strength during the difficult times. His name represents the power of God to transform lives and bring healing and restoration to the world. The name of Jesus is a reminder that we are never alone. Brother Darren, we're never alone. No matter how lonely we feel, 
no matter when, when we feel like nobody is behind us, to the side of us, God is here. He's always near. Amen. The name of Jesus, he always guides us in our journey. We call this thing called life. The name of Jesus is associated with love, forgiveness, and compassion and inspires people to live their lives in the service to others. Come on, somebody. If you know he is the Jehovah Jireh in your life, he will provide. If you know he is the Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. If you know he is a Jehovah Nisi in your life, he has the victory. If you know he is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord of our peace. If you know he is the Jehovah uh, Sabbath, the Lord of hosts, he is the almighty. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. If you know that he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords, and whatever we go through, no matter the storm or situation, when we call on the name of Jesus, we tend to know everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. Give God some high praise. Hallelujah. I say give God some high praise. If you know the name, something about the name Jesus. Uh, it is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. There's something about the name of Jesus. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands to the Lord right now for that fresh fire. Thank you, Jesus, for the word of the Lord. What is he to you? Do you know him? Hallelujah. Praise God. Next young lady that's coming to minister to us. My God, daughter, praise God, fired up, love the Lord, praise God, hallelujah. Give God glory and worship and praise. Give God glory when she testify, hallelujah, there's a fire burning in her soul. She's going to come and she's going to share that with us right now. Come on, Sister Anika, hallelujah. I said, Lord, bless. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen, amen. Psalms 8 and 1 says, O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, amen, who has set thy glory above the heavens, amen. And when we call on that excellent name, excellent things have to happen, amen, amen, amen. Last time I was up here, I didn't give honor to Pastor Nick. I know he don't mind, but I'm going to do it anyway, amen. Um, I thank you for this opportunity. I'm thankful for leadership, amen. And this time I told them I was speaking. Look, parents, I love y'all. Thank you for bringing me up in this great truth. We're going to go to the book of Joshua. Amen. 24, chapter 24, verses 14 and 15. Amen. The book of Joshua, chapter 24, verses 14 and 15. Amen. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and start. Verse 14 says, Now therefore fear the Lord. And serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve you the Lord. And verse 15 says, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Pastor Nick, will you pray for us tonight? In Jesus' name, you may be seated. Amen. Amen. This is the last chapter of the book of Joshua. This is Joshua's final speech to the Israelites, and he's getting close to death. Amen. He gathers everyone around, and from verses 2 and 13, he's reminding them of their history, how he's been the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, how he brought them out of Egypt under Moses, how he kept them in the wilderness, how he gave them all kinds of victory over the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hittites, the Girgashites, all the ites. Amen. And he says in verse 13, I have given you a land for which you didn't even labor for, cities which you built not, and ye dwell in them of the vineyards and olive yards which ye planted. 
you don't, uh, you didn't have to plant them, but you eat from them. Everything they had was from the hand of the Almighty God. And he says, through all God has done, if you think it wrong to continue serving the Lord, then you make a choice of who you're going to devote your time to. But as for me and whoever dwells with me, we will serve the Lord. Amen. Tonight, I want to talk about your choice matters. Your choice matters. Every day God allows us to wake up and he blesses us with the power to choose. He will not bend our will to his. He has given us everything we need to make the right choice, but it is ultimately up to you. Your choice matters. Amen. There's a certain attitude that comes with knowing what's right and choosing that direction because you can know what's right and not do it all day long. And James 4 and 17 says that is sin. But when we know right and choose to do right, it's a victory. It's one step closer to God. It's a deposit in that relationship with the Lord. The moment you turn down that thing you've always allowed your flesh to indulge, it brings an awakening. It's like, wow, thank you, God. I thought I could never overcome that. And the more you continue to deny your flesh, replacing it with godly interactions, the more you'll realize how much junk you were allowing into your soul. And how much you don't need it. It's quiet. It's okay. I'm talking to myself. That's all right. Amen. But when you make a choice, it's not going to happen on accident. We don't form a relationship with God on accident. Even in a romantic comedy where a guy bumps into a gal and just so happens to fall in love, there's always a problem they have to overcome. Amen. They always have to make a choice if they're going to move forward in the relationship or not. A bodybuilder doesn't build their body without some work into it. A person doesn't wake up a surgeon. There's some time. There's a daily investment into that craft. You don't trip into servitude. You don't trip into a prayer life like Pastor Nick has been talking to us. Amen. Even when you've grown up in church like I have, at some point I had to make the choice. I see my friends going this way. I see my friends going that way. But I know I can't go this way and that. Lord, I'm going to stick with you. I want to walk with you and I want to talk with you. Our youth just came from an amazing camp. We had a great youth rally this weekend. They were praying for each other and worshiping God, and that's great. But the same God that's moving in those camps and the youth rallies and the services here, he wants to hear your voice in every environment, not just with your youth group. And I understand it's easy to pray here at church because that's what we do. It's not strange. But those places where no one's motivating you, no one's encouraging you to get into that secret place, those are the times where your choice matters and you say, I'm going to dedicate time to the Lord. Will you pray? Will you dedicate time? Will you make that choice? The amplified version of Jude one twenty says, but you, beloved, Build yourselves up on the foundation of your most holy faith. Continually progress. Rise like an edifice higher and higher. Pray in the Holy Spirit. An edifice is a building, but specifically a large one. And your prayer life may start as a small shed, but don't let it stay there. you got to build onto it, add some height, add some depth to it, and let it progress continually. But you got to choose to build on it. Amen. When I was writing this out, these notes were a little bit longer, but I'm already at my close. Amen. When you make the choice, you serve the Lord. and You make the choice to serve the Lord. You serve the Lord with everything you have. Joshua commanded the Israelites to serve in sincerity and in truth. 1 Samuel 12, 24 says to serve him in truth and with all your heart. Psalms 2, 11 says to serve the Lord with fear. And that's not a scared fear, but a reverence for who God is. Psalms 102 says to serve him with gladness. Amen. Your choice to serve the Lord will influence generations. Yes, God has a plan, but you have to make the initial move. Back to Joshua 24 and 15, one thing that really caught my attention was where he said, you can serve the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. God allowed Israel to conquer the Amorites. He delivered the, hand, delivered the enemy into their hands, but not for them to resume the wickedness of the Amorites. God doesn't give us deliverance to continue the wickedness that we got delivered from, but we're supposed to crush it, and we're supposed to replace it with sanctification. But we have to choose the victory. 
We have to choose to keep it under the blood. Amen. If we can all stand. Amen. I'm already done. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I want to encourage everyone tonight to make an active choice from your heart. Recommit your time, whether you have a consistent prayer life or not. Whether it's been 10 minutes since you talked to the Lord, 10 days or 10 weeks. I've been there where I allowed my life to, my prayer life to look like a shotgun pattern. Not consistent, just a sprinkle. But when I wanted to do more, it was like I haven't talked to God in X amount of days. He don't want to hear from me. But if you're hearing that voice in your head, you best believe that is a lie and a trick of the enemy. God wants to hear from us. We have to make that choice to say, God, I understand. I'm feeling a little bit of guilt, a little bit of condemnation, but there is no guilt or condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That is a lie from the enemy that he doesn't want to hear from you. If King David could commit adultery, kill somebody's husband to kill it over, to cover it up and still cry out to the Lord, we can do the same. If Paul, who called himself the chiefest of sinners, can have his life turned around by an almighty God, what less are we? What less is our sin? And this is my testimony. I was feeling the disconnect of where I was spiritually and where I should be. And it was like I was getting more sad and depressed about where I was instead of motivating myself into getting to that place. I found myself serving the Lord because that's what I was supposed to do. I was going through the motions. But James 1 and 8 says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. I had to get sick and tired of the instability of being unstable. I realized I had a choice. I could sit there and be sad about the gap and the stagnancy in my spiritual walk, or I could make a choice and say, God, I'm going to get to where you want me to be. I'm going to get to those steps. I'm going to take those steps. Chosen was all over it tonight. I have to choose to fight on because I want to see Jesus. I can't stop now because I'm almost home. And now when you see me, know that I'm serving the Lord with gladness. And he's molding me and he's shaping me. I've got a new joy, a new peace, a new confidence in who Jesus is to me. But I had to make a choice. As long as you have breath in your body. The choice you make is not final. If you're still hesitant, I pray God's mercy on you, that he'll allow you to see the best choice you can make is to live a life pleasing unto God. Pastor Nick, you can come on up. If you decide to make the right choice, remember you still have to fight for it. Every day you still have to make a stand, but know that God will honor it. He's going to be in the midst of those storms. Every time you say, God, I know I'm going through a storm right now. I know I'm being shaken and I'm being, Lord God, I'm being moved by all these things next to me. But I'm going to stand firm and I'm going to choose every day to serve you. I'm going to choose to be in that prayer closet every single day. God, I'm going to make a choice that leads a closer life to you. Your choice matters. God bless y'all. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You got a choice to make. I don't know what you walked into the house of God carrying tonight. I, I don't know what you're battling. Maybe, maybe life is good, but no less the situation. You've got a choice to make. You got a choice to make tomorrow. You're going to have a choice to make on Tuesday. You got a choice to make to live for God. There's going to be other choices. I can choose to go the other way. I can choose to go back into the, the condemnation and the sin. I can choose. But or, hear me tonight, I can choose to walk in liberty and freedom of the Holy Ghost. I can choose to be set free as a child of God. I can choose to call on the only name under heaven whereby we must be saved. I can call on the name of Jesus tonight.
Hallelujah. Oh, I wonder if across this sanctuary, if we could just begin to lift up a hand of, and a praise of worship in this house tonight. I wonder if we could just begin to lift up that name, that name of Jesus, that name of Jesus right now. You got a choice to make. Oh, I want to live for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. 